Disability is defined as a physical or mental condition that limits a person's movements, senses, or activities. For some, a disability stops people from achieving a dream, but for others, it's a challenge to find new ways to live them. Diagnosed with cerebral palsy, Demarcus Quartz never got the opportunity to play the sport despite his love for them. As a five-year-old kid watching baseball, watching sports, I'd always wanted to get out on the field and do like all the other kids did. I, I would watch, you know, Little League Baseball games and I always said, I mean, I want to be out there hitting the home runs and making those tackles and hitting other people because that looks like so much fun. But when, you know, when I was diagnosed and when they told me, hey, you, you probably wouldn't be able to do this. I mean, it kind of, it kind of crushed that dream for me. I was, I was always kind of sad about it that I wouldn't be able to go out there and play. Uh, I was really downtrodden for a, for a while because I would, I would feel, I definitely then I didn't, I didn't feel normal at all. I felt held back and restricted. Even though Corks couldn't physically participate in the sports he admired, it did not stop him from pushing himself to get involved. Why do I feel the need to be so heavily involved? Because I feel like if I'm not doing anything with my time, then I'm not being productive at, at, at life. Uh, it started. It started really in high school, 10th uh, grade. I would, I would hang around the baseball fields all the time because I always thought of myself, I could always see myself on the inside as being a baseball player. Um, I always hung around, I wanted to you know, be involved so bad and eventually the head coach at the time, Jesse Rojas, he caught me and he told me to come into the dugout and we just talked, we messed around and I asked one day, hey do you guys need any help? you know, a manager maybe, he took me on. Starting his managing career in high school, he was blessed with the support of his family and friends. I had my mom, my very first adopted mom, who was, uh, who was in her early 60s when she adopted me. I was adopted at five years old. Uh, I had been with her since I was two weeks old, so she was the only mom I knew. Um, when they diagnosed me, she, did everything within her power to, you know, keep me up and said, keep the faith in God, keep, uh, keep praying, you know, keep your spirits up. You never know what might happen. You have a lot of time left. So she was really one of my biggest supporters. Uh, really, when it comes to family, she was pretty much the big, the really real one there. She was, she kept, she kept me going even when sometimes I didn't want to. I, a lot of times I felt. Why am I here? I don't have a purpose. No one needs me. I, I, I'm not loved. I mean, I don't, I don't see what, what use I'd be to anybody. And she, and she would snap me out of it so fast. And she, she was just great. She was my biggest cheerleader, as to say. Uh, she, she was amazing. Tremarcus didn't think his calling as a team manager would roll over when he began college. But he was pleasantly surprised when he was welcomed with open arms from coaches and players alike. I mean, yeah, yeah, I really am living the dream thanks to uh, uh, Ray Woodard and uh, Jim Gilligan, both head coaches of uh, football and baseball respect respectively. Uh, I am kind of living my dream, uh, being on the team, you know, getting to wear the same things they do, do the same things they do, go where they go, uh, hang out with them, get to know them. It's it's really like a dream come true. The only thing that would make this better is if it was a possibility for me to play. But I know that that may never come, but I keep the, I keep the dream alive. I keep the hope alive uh, that it may one day happen. Uh, they treat me like a teammate. They don't treat me as a manager. I mean, I've always said I see myself more of a player than a manager, but I stick to where I need to be and I do what I need to do. Whether he's on the diamond or the gridiron, Sports has established relationships with the players he has the joy of watching. It's through sports, my attitude actually improved, my behavior improved. I turned into a whole different person when I got into sports. So it worked for me as much as it did for the players. And that, it's right then when that I realized I have so much to be thankful for. I'm up, I'm running around, I'm walking, I'm communing with people, I'm in regular crisis with everybody else. Why am I feeling sorry for myself? Why am I feeling like this? I need to grow up. I need to take my own life in my own hands and start doing great things. That way I can re be remembered for the guy that, you know, lived his life regardless of his walker, of his wheelchair, regardless of, what, of his braces and everything that went wrong with his body. He lived like he wanted to. He lived with a purpose. He lived with fire in his eyes and a passion for things and people. 
that's another reason why I do this. I love, I love, I love people. I love being around people. I love meeting new people all the time. It's, it's one of the things that makes me who I am. Although Jamarcus Quartz has a disability, this doesn't mean that he will let it define him. He wants people to take away a message after hearing his story. Never give up, no matter what happens. Never give up. Keep going. Keep dreaming. Keep pushing. You'll never know what happens.